So today we're going to talk about how to identify a conic form from an equation without completing the square. Completing the square, as you know, can be like a really big pain. It takes a long time, and you really don't have to do it to identify what type of conic you're working with. So here we have ax squared. This is the general form of a, of a conic, I should say, general form of a conic. We've got ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f. So this is just any conic could be written in this uh, form. And types of conics, there are four types. I'm sure you know them by now. It's um, circle, parabola, hyperbola, and ellipse. And to identify which one of these four it is by this equation, the only thing you need to look at is A and C. So look at A and C. So these are the coefficients in front of the squared terms. Just those two, that's all you need to know. And then these are four rules that will let you know uh, what type of conic you're working with. So if A is equal to C, and both are positive, we have a circle. That's a circle right there. And then now if we have a times c equals zero, we have a parabola. And what this really just means is that if one of them doesn't exist, so they might not be a c, so if we had like y equals x squared plus 3x plus 2, x squared just plus 3x plus 2, this would be a situation where a times c equals um, zero because a is one and c just it doesn't exist so we can just say it's zero so one times zero zero parabola so pretty much if you see that only one of the terms is squared so there's like an x squared or not a y squared or there's a y squared and not x squared you know it's a parabola so then we get to our hyperbola rule and that is if a times c is less than zero we've got a hyperbola and all this means is that one is positive and one is negative. So, yeah, just know that if, one's, if one of A and C is positive and the other one's negative, then we have a hyperbola. And then if A times C is greater than zero, we've got an ellipse. These are the only four rules that are all you have to know to identify what type of conic you're with. We're about to do like six examples. It's quick and it's about 100 times easier than completing the square. So here we go. All right, number one. Let's look at our a, a squared. A is gonna be that one. C is gonna be that one. So we've got three, five, and three. Well, they're both positive. They don't equal each other. Let's look at our rules. Positive, don't equal each other. Well, looks like we're working with an ellipse. So that's what it is, ellipse. All right, here we go. We got 3y squared minus 3x squared. So be careful with this one. We have, we could say a equals, make sure you don't write 3. It is negative. It's negative 3. And c, which is in front of the y squared, equals, well, it's positive 3. So, well, they don't equal the same thing. And 1 is negative. Looks like we're looking at a hyperbola here. So hyperbola. Be careful with that. A lot of people would want to put um, that it's a circle, but they're not the same because one is negative. Okay, here we go. We've got, well, this one we have in front of the x squared. Just don't worry that there's like a minus two there. We have an eight in front of that x squared. We have a three in front of the y squared. So we're gonna have a equals eight um, and c equals three. And then you might have to divide by 12 or something, but in the end, you see they're both going to stay positive, so that means an ellipse. Two positive, and they're both different. We got an ellipse. All right, here we have, well, we got 3 and 3. So A equals 3, C equals 3. Well, that looks like it's going to be a circle because they're equal to each other, so circle. And here... Well, a lot of people would want to put, well, there's like a 1 there, and there's a 1 there. But really, you have to keep track of that 4 and that 7. Because what you really have is you have like 1 fourth times x minus 1 squared. 
and then you have 1 7th times y plus 8 squared. So be careful with that. And notice, well, 1 4th and 1 7th, 1 4th, 1 7th, those are just two um, different positive numbers. That's an ellipse. Then this last one, well, this one's pretty easy. It's fit quick. Well, I see there's only one square term. That's just going to be a parabola. So there we go. Those are the rules right here. If you want to, take notes on that. It makes them way faster, and it's a lot easier than completing the square. So let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.